All right, so pack sale version 2.0 coming your way right now. Simple version is Kevin's Budget Card Breaks at gmail.com. Again, Kevin's Budget Card Breaks at gmail.com. PayPal, friends and family, or goods and services. Uh, USA shipping is built in. Uh, Canada shipping is $15 extra. The next portion of this is uh, super, super simple. Um, $15, $15, $15 for the first pack. So $15, $15 for the first pack. Um, then three packs. That's right, three packs for $30. Three for $30, so $10 a pack. We have five packs for $40. Five packs for $40. Seven packs for $50. Uh, 10 packs for 75, 15 packs for 100. Um, I'll give you everything for 300 bucks. Everything for 300 bucks, plus I'll throw bonuses in. Kitchen sink style, as RJ Collect Sets like to hear. Kitchen sink style, 300 bucks, and I'll throw in bonuses for everything. Um, I'll adjust the price if something sells before then. Uh, bulk discounts apply. Anyway, Kevin's Budget Card Breaks at gmail.com. So let me go through them. The packs, um, there's team packs, there's player packs. Then there's also some football, basketball. Anyway, Alec Baum, Beerling. Um, I did just make this basically the exact same video earlier, uh, yesterday. And so I'm just going to blow through these cards. Um, but this is your Phillies pack. RJ Collect Sets, Rob Harsh, and Rippin for Rookies. Street value is off the charts, as I like to tell Clint over at Sony Way Sports Cards. Tommy's Breaks. Um, Yes, my math is terrible, and no, I do not care. So we got Mets fans. Uh, we have Tim Howe. Congratulations on your third child. Uh, congratulations to your wife as well, since she actually gave birth to the child. Uh, but Tim Howe, uh, Ped's card collector, is also a Mets fan, but he does not watch my channel. I do not believe. Maybe he does. Uh, Ped, if uh, you do, please let me know. Uh, Growing the Hobby, I believe, is a Mets fan as well. Grade -worthy, grade worthy trading cards is not. He's a Yankees fan. Um, but there's the Mets collection. Next up, we have uh, an Adam's Card Closet's favorite. Adam's Card Closet, Adam's Card Mansion, Adam's Card Castle. Uh, Nathan R., by the way, we have Porter in the Jungle. Um, um, it's going to be the first of many shout outs to Lance over at Something Old and Something New Card Rips. Uh, maybe I'll do a special thing where uh, if you can count how many shout outs he gets in this particular video, maybe there'll be a, I don't know. Maybe if you buy, if Lance figures out how many shout outs are in this channel and he buys a number of packs, maybe, and he mentions it in the email, maybe I'll send him something extra just for being cool. But anyway, something old, something new, card rips. But anyway, Adam's card closet. Next up, we got the Cubbies. Uh, don't talk to robots. We have Matt's Midwest Teams, Nate's Breaks, and Unboxings. Harry's House of Hits, Cubby Poles, Oz Cards. Anyway, OZ Cards, Oz Cards. Used to be Oscar Opens Cards. Um, by the way, these packs, they have Bowman, some of them. They have Heritage, some of them. They have Big League, some of them. Series 1, some older stuff. As you can tell, it is a mixture, and they are loaded. And look, you buy one for 15, you get your value for Scherskowitz. But you buy, you buy three or five, you're getting monster value. Because it's going down to $10 a pack or $8 a pack or seven a pack. So St. Louis Cardinals fan, 1990 and Blue Jays fan, positive breaks are both Cardinals fans. Anyway, so there's uh, for you bird fans. I will give a shout out to CB Baseball Card Collector, even though he's a Dodgers fan and not a, and a Cardinals fan. He's never mentioned the Cardinals to me. So CB Baseball Card Collector, how's it going? Good buddy. Um, also Mark over at something. Uh, Mark over at Mark at K Family Rips Sports Card Rips. Um, by the way, all these people have channels, and they would love it if you would subscribe to them. Uh, they will not turn down your subscription. To be honest, they can't. They cannot turn down your subscription. Um, because that's not how the old Tuberuski works. But there's your two. By the way, that's Cardinals pack numero dos. Numero dos, the deuce, if you will. Uh, some people don't like it when you call it the deuce. Some people don't like it when you call it dropping the deuce. Anyway, uh, so we're going to finish off the, this little section. Uh, we do have, uh, 
Anyway, uh, Nationals pack number one. RVA sports cards. Jimmy at Red Beer Breaks. Jimmy at Red Beer Breaks. Anyway, so here's pack number two. The Deuce. The Deuce. The Deuce. 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 Uh, I am also a Nationals fan, but mostly I'm a, a fan. I'm a Nationals fan when I watch baseball, but when it comes to cards, I just like opening packs, and uh, I don't like having loose cards. I, just, I immediately want to like unload cards. I just immediately want to unload cards. I immediately want to unload cards. Also, I want to say a special thank you to Jiri. Um, here's some Marlins packs. So we actually have three Marlins packs. Uh, I want to unload the card. Anyway, Jiri, he went big a couple of weeks ago. I really do appreciate it. I really do appreciate it. I do not think that you have a channel, um, but if you do, please let me know. Um, shout outs, uh, pack number two. Is this one? Number two, the deuce. Uh, Lou Rock TV. I don't know if you still watch the channel. Palm Beach Sports Cards. Costa Rica Card Collector. Uh, Lance over at Something Old and Something New. Card Rips. Um, Ollie Moon Collectibles. I believe he definitely doesn't watch this channel, but I'll mention him anyway. You know what? Sometimes I just happen to know who you are, even if you don't watch my channel. And, you know, such is life in the fast lane. Man, the, uh, the Marlins in the last two seasons have been loaded, mixloaded, mixluded with rookies. They have been loaded with rookies. Anyway, Mark over at K Family Rips. Uh, we'll do a running tally of how many times you mentioned him as well. But that, keep track at home. That's Marlins pack number three. All right. Um, normally, we would keep going with the National League, but we're going to go over to something completely different. Uh, keep it quick. The football pack has three rookie card autographs. So that is it for the football card pack. Uh, there is going to be more team packs, by the way, because I just opened more cards on my live stream. And I'm going to have a desperate. There's an Elton Brand autograph. I've got three autographs and a Jason K with a bad corner. Um, but uh, I just opened a bunch of packs, and I'm going to want to unload them. I'm going to unload them. want to unload them. Uh, the one and only hockey pack as well. For you hockey cod lovers. Lovers of hockey and hockey cods and all things iced. All things iced. Keep telling myself I got to slow down. Not just like talking wise, but like I got to slow down on the pack openings because I've gone a little bonkers. Anyway. The Orioles uh, ripping for Ripkins autographs for 1,000 Hoover and Sons sports cards. Ryan Mountcastle, give that dude a crown. Anyway, so there's your Orioles Pakaruski. Lance, how many bird calls have we done? Huh? How many bird calls have we done? So here's your first. This is Red Sox pack number one. Tommy's Breaks, Ethan's Sports Cards, and more uh, ripping packs. Matthew's coin and card collecting. Keith over at Celtic Pride. One, two, three, four, five. Here's Red Sox pack number two, the deuce. Anyway, Keith, Celtic Pride. One, two, three, four, five. Tommy's breaks. Ripping packs. Matthew's coin and card collecting. And Ethan's sports cards. So there's Skowitz. You go, Skowitz. Um, zero below cards. Also, Red Sox fan. But I do not believe that he watches my channel. We'll find out. Feel free to let me know. Clint, swing away. Keep on swinging away, buddy. Um, keep on swinging away. Street value off the charts. Number three, Red Sox pack, Bobby Dalbeck. You old Bobby Dingers, Ruski. Tommy should recognize these because I think every one of those cards came from his break. I was hunting for a Dalbeck auto. I did not pull one. And I ended up with a whole bunch of uh, Red Sox cards that I don't necessarily need. Um, all right. Tampa Bay. Raise. Not sure why that card has that line, but it does. Just how it goes. Um, Vidal Brohan, Mega Pack. Lanch. Something old, something new. Card Rip, CB Baseball Card Collector. Uh, Bobby Catalano, as far as I know, is a Rays fan, but I think she stopped watching my channel a long time ago. She's probably like, no, forget this weird dude. Or maybe, I don't know, whatever. Life happens. It's been a weird two years, man. It's been a weird, 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 weird two years. But Tampa Bay, the Rays squids. Uh, they were rumored to try to move their way to Montreal half the season, and that didn't work out. Man. Yankees, great worthy trading cards. Gem Mint Chris, the card dojo, Arana Boys, Oz Cards, Trucker Tim, also known as Double T. There is your Yankees, Yankees pack, Yankees McSlankies. What else we got? We have the. Blue Jays, so St. Louis Cardinals uh, fan and Blue Jays fan, 1990. 
uh, Styx G, Canadian Card Breaks, Shaw Racing Collects, Muskoka Card Collector, uh, Jay's Mix. I'm sure I'm missing someone, and they're going to say, you missed me, and I'm going to say, I apologize. I was wrong. Okay, right, the Twins, Minnesota, Julie Farnham, and Comedy Nachos. Sports cards, by the way, if you want a Bauer one of one Julie Farnham's selling it. She said she's willing to take 100 smackarooskies for it. Okay, there's your Minnesota Twins. All right, a uh, barbecue sauce, Royals, NW, Stang, and Card Collector, 65, JW. So there you go. All right, Detroit Tigers coming your way. Mark over at K Family Rips. Uh, then we also have uh, Great Lakes Breaks. Uh, Striker breaks. We have Sticks G. We have Lisa Dankovich. Um, we have Brainiac Sports Cards. Again, Mark at K Family Rips. The Tigers. I know, Chloe Beer. All right, White Sox coming your way next. Uh, we have Epiphany Card Collector. Epiphany Card Collector. Um, we have uh, Big Mike. We have Fulton on Foils. We have Oz Card. Got a monster pack of White Sox. I mean, look at all these White Sox cards. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Again, I am speeding through these cards because I did just make a video about these exact cards in these exact order and the exact same packs less than 24 hours ago. So, but you know what? You know, why did I do it again? A, because I can give you guys shout outs. B, because it bumps up um, my video again so that if you didn't see it the first time. Anyway, uh, CB Baseball Card Collector. Uh, you get your Indians shout out, Haas of Cards. Uh, Card Shark Bricks, who I don't do not believe he's ever watched my channel, but um, Connor's Cards, who I think is inactive in the uh, the tube community. Uh, Lance, something old, something new. Card rips, gratuitous. It's become excessive at this point, but he's a conductor. He can he's a semiconductor, but uh, he's working his way up to be a full conductor. All right, uh, the Angels next. So uh, Eric over at Classic Cards, who by the way coined the term card immunity. Eric coined the term. He doesn't get credit as much as he deserves, but he doesn't want credit. He's a humble dude. Um, also, CB Baseball Card Collector, even though he's a Dodgers fan, um, he goes to some Angels games. I think they're cheaper than going to the Dodgers games. Brandon Jensen is a Dodgers fan, um, but I don't know. I just mentioned Brandon Jensen just for... Uh, Bufus lives close. He lives pretty close to Angel Stadium. Uh, Lillis Rips also doesn't live that far away. Even though they're both, they both happen to be Dodgers fans, but I'll just randomly throw in stuff. Uh, Craig over at Ripping Packs, he's in the in the ballpark. Ah, in the ballpark. I went there. All right, Ace Fan Jim, get ready. And Jason Lee, Ace Fan Jim, and Jason Lee, get ready. Got a Zito relic. Um, but here's your A's. Are they gonna move to Vegas? I don't know. Are they gonna get fans? Probably not. Well, if they move to Vegas, they'll probably get fans. And there's a Luzardo who's now at Marlin, but that's at a 250. That's his rookie debut. Um, and coming up, Texas Rangers. Um, I, whatever, Sandy Frank, maybe. I don't. I'm pretty. I'm like 100 percent sure that Sandy Frank doesn't watch this channel. But if he does, feel free to correct me, buddy. I watch your channel. I watch your channel, buddy. Anyway, so there's that. There's Rangers pack number one, the Deuce. Rangers pack number two coming your way. Palmero game used bet. Teixeira. Um, man, I would love it for someone to come by and, and take these Rangers cards off my hands. Goodness gracious. I got four I got four different packs. Four different Rangers packs. And they're loaded with rookie value, man. And parallel value. It is almost 9 o'clock my time. Goodness gracious. And I got to go to the dentist tomorrow. I got to drive two hours and go to the dentist and then drive home like a pro. Like a seasoned professional. I know, none of you guys needed to hear that, but you heard it anyway, because welcome to my life. Jordan Alvarez, that's a complete set. Rookie, uh, out of 400 Bagwell, out of 750 Bagwell. Not a ton. Uh, Rad Dad and B-Dog are Astros fans, but there's not a ton, 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 ton of, uh, of Astros fans I've noticed in the card collecting community. Um, Eric's hobbies and games used to collect 
the Astros, but I think he left the hobby because uh, he, I think he mentioned that it was more expensive than he thought it would be. And let's, uh, yeah, it is. Um, I have thought about leaving the hobby before too. I've thought, I've thought about someone coming by and saying, "Hey, I'll offer you X amount for everything," and I'll be like, "Take it," and I'll hand you the boxes and I'll be done. All right, Mariners, Flying Dutchman cards, Kyle's card, Northwest rips. Uh, Schultz's card pulls run good life average Dave's cards Lance something old something new card rips Lance anyway I hope you're keeping track buddy um I don't even know if you're gonna watch this video man you might be busy conducting you might be busy conducting or you might be like I've already bought like a hundred packs from you Kev like come on just leave me alone man also Tommy's breaks is a Griffey fan He's a Griffey fan, so even though he's not a Mariners fan. Oh, ripping packs. Craig, a ripping packs is, is a. All right, we're going to move on to the last of the packs. Still got a bunch, a couple more. Um, let me put all these back so they don't get all disorganized or disorganized. Uh, I might put up my eBay link too, because I have a whole bunch of Bowman up on eBay. So I'll put up my eBay link probably in the comments section, because I would love. I got some partial sets that I would love to just like unload. I would love to. Um, all right, we, get, we have, actually we have a bunch more packs. So Brewers pack number one, Steve Rodemacher. And Brewers Cards Forever. Um, I think Brewers Cards Forever does not watch my channel. But welcome to your shout out anyway. Brewers Pack number two, the douche. That is a rent. You, know, you know what? I was going to put the pirate card in the pirate pack. But forget it. I'm too lazy. All right. Reds, we got Luke Diamond. We got Professor Collector. We have Wayne over at Klein Bell's Sports Cards. Um, Lance, Lance, Paging Lance, Paging Lance. Anyway, uh, Mark K Family Rips. He lives, I think, equidistant between Cincinnati and Detroit, I believe. So he might be a, a casual Red Legs fan. Casual. Um, I don't know, man. I, I can't speak for him. He can speak for himself. The Pirates are a bus driver. Paging bus driver, also paging John sports cards. Um, those are the big two pirates fans um, that I know of, or that I care to know. That I care to know. You know what I'm saying? Slaying, schman, dismaying. <laughs> Swing away. Street value is off the chart. See the big Are you listening? All right. Speaking of swing away, here's your Giants. Uh, so swing away, obviously big Buster Posey. He's a fan of the retiree Buster Posey. Um, egg with five thousand subs, goody G, goody G. Um, but yeah, Clint over at Swing Away, super cool. By the way, speaking of his retiree buddy, actually, you know, I bet he wishes he was a buddy. Uh, Don't talk to robots is a uh, well, his daughter at least is a big old uh, Chris Bryant fan, and there is a uh, Chris Bryant Chrome, even though he now plays for the Colorado Rockies, and things are rocky in Denver. Goodness gracious, that team. <laughs> All right, the San Diego Padres, SD card collector, Frank Gonzalez, striker, breaks. We'll throw in a gratuitous CB baseball card collector uh, reference again. And then Lance, Lance to you can't, Lance to you can't, Lance to... Anyway, so there's Padres pack, numero dos. Well, they have a Spanish nickname, so I, I feel like it's fine to say dos. Better to say dos than deuce. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm slaying? Do you know what I'm slaying here? All right, that's uh, Padres pack number two. I'm getting a little loopy and I'm getting a little punchy because it's like bedtime over here. By the way, I'm going to put this video up and then we go to bed. So if I don't answer it uh, until the morning, the answer is because I'm asleep. Diamondbacks pack. Uh, rookie autograph in the Diamondbacks packs. Packs pack. Um, Red Dad V-Dog. Lance, are you there? RJ Collect Sets, are you still listening? <laughs> I know I did the Phillies pack a long time ago. Rob Hirsch, are you listening, buddy? Adam's card closet? CB Baseball Card Collector, Don't Talk Robots, Mass Midwest Teams. Anyway, here's the Rockies. Uh, I know no Rockies fans, so Lance always gets the Rockies shout out because, goodness gracious, I don't know anyone who cheers for that team. There's people in Denver who are like, never mind. I don't want to do slander, McSlander, McClander, the uh, the Rockies. Uh, nothing against them. Nothing against them. Except when they play my team, and then they can just... Actually, you know what? My team's hunting for the number one draft pick, so we need to lose. Hard. Oh, here we go. We got the uh, Dodgers. All right, CB Baseball Card Collector. CB Baseball Card Collector. Lilith Rips. Hoofus Card Collector. Brandon Jensen. Brandon Jensen. Um, Craig over at Rippin' Packs. 
Am I missing any, uh, am I missing any Dodgers fans? I think I got them all. I'll just say CB Baseball Card Collector again. I'll just keep saying his name until he buys 10 packs. I'll just keep saying his name until he buys 10 packs. I think, uh, I think Lance is a Mike Piazza. I'm not joking. I think Lance actually is a Mike Piazza fan. I think. And, of course, Mike Piazza played for multiple teams. He, uh, he played for the uh, Dodgers, of course. He played for the Mets. He also played for the Padres, huh? Do you believe that? Those rare Padres years, or that year, half year, quarter year, however many, however long it was. Any Barry Bonds fans out there? Maybe Pirates fans are, or Giants fans, possibly. Maybe they want that Barry Bonds pack. I have not been able to, I have not been able to pawn this pack off on anyone yet. Um, A Rod, any A Rod fans out there, please. Anyway, like I said, Kevin Fletcher Cardbreaks at gmail.com. I would love to unload all these kitchen sink style. Um, or one by one. I'll do that too. Also, I'm going to link to my eBay store because I have a whole bunch of Bowman and some other cool stuff on the store. So if you want to purchase some stuff for me, I would very much appreciate it. And if you don't want to purchase some stuff for me, then uh, yeah. No comment. No comment. None. No comment. All right. Kevin's Budget Car Breaks at gmail.com. Thanks for being here and take care. Woo!